Hey guys, um, I already recorded this once but didn't get all of it, so if I'm seem a little bit rushing it or inside of me, that's why, but this is going to be my Crimson Queen Sword and Shield build. Before, I haven't played this game in like a month and a half, almost two months, so I was looking a little rusty. But I came in because the Expert Plus 4 jewel came out, I was got my jewel and I was looking at what builds I can use. I made this set when the Kajar weapons first came out, but I thought it was more of a fun build. But now that I can replace my charm, and now that I have a Razor Sharp charm, let me use my sharpness for longer. This set's actually pretty fun, I think. Not meta, not the most damage, but enough damage where it's it's not bad to use if you just want to like have a somewhat comfortable time, but also just not use, you know, Master Touch and all this spread and all the other stuff. So, let's get into it. The pieces you will need for this set is fairly simple. You just need the full beta version of Safi and the Razor Sharp Charm. If you don't know how to get the Razor Sharp Charm, you do a quest line for your housekeeper. He'll give you a decoration quest. The ward says decorations, but after completing them and talking to him, he will give you different charms. I think this is the second one in the line. The first one he gives you the Adamantine Charm, then the Razor Sharp. I haven't done the other one, but the last one gives you like a Guts Charm, I believe. So if you're interested in Guts, you can do that. That is that originally I was using the Expert Plus 4 charm, but now that I don't need to, I'm using the Razor Sharp Special, which fixed the hole in this set, which was sharpness was somewhat of a problem, even though it had a lot of sharpness, it was still a minor issue. Mantles, use whatever you like. I am I recommend Evasion Apothecary, as you've seen the gameplay. They're really good in getting damage and staying safe, but overall, use whatever mantle you want, Vitality, Impact, even in the boosters, use whatever you want. We're going to the decoration front. The decorations isn't too cost heavy, but there's some things you might have problems getting. I'm pretty sure everyone has the vitality ones and the expert ones, so these are fairly simple. The you sh everyone should if you at least log in today, which if you ta if you can please do so. I'm pretty sure everyone can get the expert plus four jewels. Um, oh yeah, I forgot to say I kind of mentioned it, but I like peeped over it. Get a Kajar weapon with one slot. Any of the Kajar weapons are fine. I don't know all the viable ones, because my friends are disappointed with most of them not being good, like the dual blades. My friend was specifically upset over that, but Sword and Shield, I for what I'm looking at, has pretty decent raw overall. Oh, pretty good sharpness, especially compared to the other Kajar weapons. 10 Infinity, 450 Blast, 1 Slot, 20 Defense, overall good weapon. The number one reason I use this crit status. I was thinking when I was making this set with the crit status, and the and the Safi Jiva stuff, you have a lot of blasts. The main point of the boat is to try to get as much blast proc stuff as possible, but also keeping up good raw because you know the raw isn't too bad. So, with that being said, next we got the blast jewels. I don't. So for budget, if you don't have blast plus fours, which I think you should, but if you don't, then just use blast plus ones. It's fine if you're just a blast tag two. You still get a lot of blast from just having the soft pieces on. Um. Next part, which is the harder part, or so the hardest part of this entire set, is four Feror plus twos, which I think if you farm enough, these are not the hardest to get, but definitely time and lengthy. And then the Feror Vitality is the hardest tool to get in this set. If you can't get this, you can mix around other sets here, like um, something that comes to mind is just a Vitality and then any other skill. Make sure, I would recommend ha maxing out Vitality before you max out Fairer, or just max out Fairer if you want. If you don't care about Vitality because you think Saifi Jiva is already putting you too low anyway, even though I do think it does help with the Saifi Jiva sub bonus, you take this out and add other damaging skills, putting your Expert Jewel so then you have the plus 4 slots wherever you want. There's not much you can do to, to our, uh, for substitutions, but if you don't care about the Razor Sharp or you don't care about certain skills, of course you can mix around to your liking and get the same skills out this set. In the, in the mantles, I put medicine jewels to help you get more health up once you get the um, thing off and just healing in general. Phoenix and the apothecary, just for that little extra bit of raw and special status. Now, with all these together, you should get critical eye 7, resentment 5, blast attack 4, health boost 3, critical boost 3, evade window 3, blight resistance 2, razor sharp spare shot, critical status, and then the mantle, as I said, I have medicine and the cool lessons. 
not, as I said, this is not the most damaging set. You can get way more damaging sets out there, but I do think this set is pretty fun, and you still get a lot of damage with the max resentment for using the Safi set bonus. I recommend going for resentment over normal straight-up attack boost, because you get more mileage out of it since Safi would put you in red health a lot. But if you don't have the, the um, Pharaoh gems, but you have attack ups, you can throw in the attack ups instead. And you get some damage out of it at least, and it's okay. I feel like the most important skills in these sets is Blast Attack, Health Boost, and Critical Eye. Because Crit Boost already comes to the set. Blight Resistance, you can make that 3, you can. But I leave it at 2. But, like, the reason why these are the core fundamentals is it leaves you with high affinity, so you can use your Crit status on your Sword and Shield. The status goes off and your blast attack is going to be really high in general because it stacks with the Safi set. And yeah, these are the skills. Again, you have your your safety skills being the blight resistance, evade window, and health boost. And then you have your offensive skills like critical boost, a critical eye, resentment, and blast attack. Um, I don't think this set's too hard to make, but definitely you need a good array assortment of um, decorations. With the new decoration um, farm class coming out and the early ones we have, it shouldn't be too difficult though. I'm repeating myself at this point, but... Yeah, another thing. Kajar, Slicer, Blast. You should... It, like, I don't have that many augments you see, but the number one one I think you should get is the Infinity one. Because then this will give you 20 Infinity in total. So then... You can, when you unleash your weapon, you have what well, that 100% affinity, which is cr like cr cr crit, like it's vital because your crit boost you need to crit as many times as possible because crit gives you more damage than base raw. 100 affinity means you crit 100% of the time, which is it's 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 wicked, especially since you don't need to hit a weak spot like other sets or tenderize. So it's pretty lazy friendly, too. This, set, this entire set's just lazy friendly as well. I mean, the only thing you have to focus on is not getting hit, but with Sword and Shield, you having the shield and easy dodges and able to use the items real quickly, it's it's pretty good to stay alive. Like, I remember when I was hunting, I was, like, very sloppy, and I was still able to heal up most of the time and use my items, like, the Firecaster to get out of the way. Without getting the Kajar weapons, they're not too difficult to get, but definitely with RNG, especially since we don't have the Call of Trial thing out right now, if you really want to try to get the Kajara weapons while Kultroth isn't here, even though I do think you should just wait. If you have your um, Cosmic tickets, I think they're called Cosmic. Um, I can't exactly remember, but it's the Master Rake equivalent ticket. And if you have one of those, or multiple of those, you can give it to the Elder Melder and roll for Kajar weapons. You can keep doing that, because using it, those parts, or even your hiring parts, you can use your hiring parts too, I think. I might be wrong with that one for the Elder Mountain, but you can definitely use it to upgrade them. You can use the Master Rank parts to get weapons, and if you get the Kajar Blast, come to him, use your, this is definitely something I recommend using your Tekken on, because it, it's, I think it's worth it, is using it Right here, Golden Dragon Dragonspire, 200, automatically puts it to level 500. You can use your other parts here that are, like, pretty easy to get. Like, tons of these, even though it takes a lot of them. It's not bad, but I do think the best thing to do here is to get the Dragon Spire because the tickets are somewhat simple to get and really easy. You have, they're limited, like, I will admit, they're limited, but you still have a good amount of them. They're somewhat easy to get. Use them on this, get them to level 5, and then you have the open for the set. Um, for Safi, there's not much I can say with that. You just have to try to get the parts to make the armor. It should be around right now, so if you can go out do Safi with other people, I'm pretty sure people online wouldn't mind. Um, if you don't have that good of armor and stuff. I might make a video on my anti-Safi set and weapons that I've used that seem good to me when it comes to fighting Safi. Sorry if I seem weird or uh, over, all over the place, I'm just trying to recap everything I missed. Next time, hopefully, I won't lose my recording, but, yeah, this is my Crimson Queen Sword and Shield build. Um, I don't know exactly where in the hunt I missed out on, but I, I, most of the hunt got captured, so that's good. But, overall, the set, <coughs> I'd say it's pretty nice. It, you get a lot of blast procs. It's really fun. Um... Now that I can use the Red Sharp Spare Shot, it, the sharpness 
lasts a very long time using the hunt. I hit him like a lot, but I still have white sharpness. Blocking with the weapon is somewhat viable as like an emergency thing because of the razor sharp as well. So overall, I think this is a really nice set. 710 on Sword Shields, really nice. White sharpness. L look, see the raw? Because at 8 for Attack of Bell and I had 420 raw, which even though it's not as high as other Sword Shield sets, it's not bad by any stretch of the imagination. It's still pretty good. And then, of course, the, one of the biggest things in this set that I don't want to overlook is the fact that 100% affinity on non tenderized slots is just overall really comfy and really nice. But yeah, guys, hope you enjoy that. I will see you guys in the hunt, so I'll take you over to pass me. Inch. You got another blast proc, that's pretty nice. 100% affinity is really useful. As you're seeing right here, we're getting a lot of crits, a lot of damage, a lot of blights being activated. Uh, I don't think someone else has done this video. I haven't looked at Monster Hunter content in a bit. Someone else might have done this build. I don't know. So if I have, let me know. Okay, I didn't know if I was going to get sniped. I should have attacked anyway. It's going. To, you're going to land at the same time. What is this going on with me? Oh, Clagger. Come here. Come here, boy. Definitely got a tenderized base. Oh, yeah. There we go. Maybe we can get him out here. Yep. There you go. I don't know if they've changed that too much, but I've noticed last time I was on that it's a lot better to try to hold on to the single part that you're beating. And then keep smacking away after you're done holding on. Because I remember in base game world, you would want to like switch body parts. There you go. I don't know how much time of the tenderizing I have left. There you go. Getting some good damage off. Again, with this set, you probably want to do more of these type of things. Because of the blast procs. But there we got another one. Oh yeah. Get that way. Palco's coming towards me with the health. See, like, I get back up. And I'm doing pretty good. Rigoros for using Safi sets in general are really useful. Oh my god, yeah, he's getting super aggressive. There we go. Got another flagger. Got tenderize the head again. Getting a little bit low because I did that. I'm also getting low again. Should heal up. Nope, didn't get a chance because chip. All right, he has it. I think I'm gonna get spawn killed here. But please, 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 please. There you go. Okay. That's the only problem with it I've experienced in the past is that you get spawn killed really easy with that. I wish I would release a patch where not necessarily put you to full health, but they give you immunity or more protection during that because maybe that's meant to be the counter of it like the balance but it seems really odd that you now they'll get you up but then you can proceed to die because they're using a big a we or long lasting attack next to you there we go um sharpness looking pretty low but with razor sharp i think would be fine oh whoa he's pushing us away because of this great position it's not fun Oh, he's looking a little bit tired there. Hold on, wait, I don't have any, um, rocks. Rocks, I need, oh, there's a rock. Don't tell me he just got angry. Am I going to hit by those? No, okay. Got these, however. Get me over to his head, please. Very asinine, I'm going to hit. Ugh. He only gets unangry for a little bit, so I have to use this time. That's my ability to try to hang him against the wall. Jesus. Jeez, dude. I just can't catch a break. 
I think I'm dead. Oh, oh, no, barely alive. I'm not gonna be able to get that cling though, because he's gonna get angry here in any moment. You know what? I value the cling more than my own life. No, I lied. I lied. Give me HP now. It's unfortunate, but he will make you. Oh, wait, Ooh, over here. Give me health. Okay, cool. We got the health. Now, can I please flag onto you? There you go. He's knocking his. It's nice. Okay. I would tenderize, but right now I want to focus on damage. We got do this. Do you want to do this a lot? Fuck, I thought I had enough time to block. I guess there's a lot of lag on that. More than I thought. Well, okay, I'm gonna get crossfire. Please no hit me. Okay. Oh yeah, I should say, when you're fighting a Gigante, I'm pretty sure most of you already know this by now. But for more of your new players or people that don't know, when he does his roar, whatever arm he lifts up when he's going up in the air, that's the side he's gonna like land on. So make sure you're not anywhere near that side, or you're just gonna have lots of spikes inside of you, and you're gonna be feeling very not good. What? <laughs> they just got these hitboxes are weird, bro. What? I'm gonna hit probably. Nope. Okay, cool. Man. Really been a while. I remember how you even you do these hunts usually, even with like more like non HP oriented sets. Usually I do sometimes faint, but those are because again I'm using lower health, not because I get smacked a lot. Paco, please give me HP. Thank you. I don't know how much more HP he has. I don't think he's going to die anytime soon, but he's definitely past health, health, I believe. Jeez. Get this time instead of tenorizing to get some damage off. Maybe not the best use of that chance, but yeah, I'm definitely getting to low. I'm for my like, I'm using Fire Cast to get out of here. Maybe not for like if you're trying to do competition stuff because there's set rules, but don't ever feel bad for using things. But the game gives you it for a reason, especially when you're playing casually like what I'm doing right now. Don't feel bad you have to clagger things, send to the wall, use Fire Casters, tons of potions, get hit and die a lot. Don't feel bad. This is a game. Games are meant to be hard. You're meant to be challenged. They give you these tools to try to fight these challenges. Oh, I'm getting. <laughs> Jesus, free dude. Okay, now he's a little bit more calm here. Once he gets done doing this position, he's exhausted. Yes, this is exactly what I've been waiting for. Oh, well, he, not if he turns around. Oh my gosh. Even when he's exhausted, he does a lot of hitboxes, man. Alright, I'm not. I should. No, yeah, while he's getting knocked down, I'm gonna use a max potion. Throw him the apothecary mantle. And then just go in on him. There we go. Got another trip, probably because of the blast. Yep, got another trip. I was like hyper focusing there. I was doing pretty good. Um, here though, on my apothecary mantle, I can trigger Phoenix. Oh, barely, but I got hit for it. So maybe it wasn't the best thing. Yeah, Nergigante is known for comboing you. 
sketchy. I feel a little less secure, so I'm gonna go on the invasion now as well. Okay, cool. Ooh, thorns. That's gonna be good for the next throw to the wall I can do, if there is gonna be a next one. Freak. Okay, I didn't. I forgot. Oh, dang it. No. Oh, I could evade that. What's wrong with me? Okay. No, I don't have a max potion, but I do have an ancient potion. However, there it is. Okay, I'm gonna go on the Crap. Okay, he's getting, he's tired again. Ninja Gante being an Elder Dragon with the Exhaustion Bar makes sense because how aggressive he is. I don't think that's an Exhaustion Oh, yep, he's definitely close to death for now. And real quick, I'm going to get my health up, though, by doing this. Alright, he's going to grab. Got, gosh down it. There you go. Throw him against the wall with the thorns. This might kill. Nope, but he's definitely going to die after me pummeling him here. If I can get my hits off. Oh, because I couldn't get some of my smacks, he's probably going to live now. That's cool. So I think I got another blast back there. Oh yeah, I've got a chopple. Now he's definitely dead. There we go. Moss Hunter veteran here, 100. Um, thousand hours plus. Just got my one million Gigante kill. Total skill. <laughs> but yeah, um, that was a hunt with the. Well, that was my first hunt in like a month and a half with my Crimson Queen Sword Shield build. I don't think there's much love to do a show so um, I hope you enjoyed this is the set again oh, I should show um, with the buffs what they were but yeah this set's pretty nice 100% crit it's able to keep your sharpness up now because the razor sharp does pretty good damage get a lot of blast procs off just a fun build overall also decent it's not of course, meta, but it does a lot of damage still, so I think it's worth it using or at least trying out. Especially if you're not much for using mixed sets or you don't have that much stuff to use mixed sets, making a budget version of this build definitely is not a waste of your time. Because getting blasts is just fun. Explosions. 60 minutes. Had way better times, but it's fine. Might do more videos in the future. Like I'm planning on doing speed runs. Probably first starting with a not hard but not easy monster seizing basic geese. Probably gonna use lance. I'm thinking because I like lance. Lance is my favorite weapon. I I like greatsword a lot. Sword and shield, as you see, I've used sword and shield since the beginning. I like greatsword. I like sword and shield. Love lance. Charge blade was something I got more into in G um generations. The Anticlave is something I love, but I've dropped off for me. I've been using a lot of Bogans in this game, though, because it's a lot easier. But here's some of my other builds. I'm not going to... I might make dedicated videos to them, but... You can pause the video and look at some of the skills here and the, and the pieces and the charm. Try to recreate it. Um, also, a lot of people are trying to make the best longsword build. And, of course, you still need to be locked for this, but people are like, I can't get two attack plus fours and all this. But, like, I have two challenger plus fours, and because of the attack five charm, I'm able to get the set perfectly fine. Um, again, I would make a dedicated video on this, but so many people made longsword builds, I don't think there's any point. I'm just saying, showing here that there are other ways to making the best sword and shield build. as a sword and shield, longsword build. Well, theoretically, you can use the same set for sword and shield, so I guess that works both ways, but... Yeah, you just, because of the attack farm charm out, you can just use challenger plus fours if you have two of those, since you've been farming a lot and not have gotten... Because if you farm, like, multiple monsters and you haven't gotten any attack plus fours... But you have tons of challenge plus fours, you can make this version of the monster build. Just throwing that out there. But, yeah. Um, actually, let me throw on my build again. Hope you guys enjoy the video. This is my Crimson Sword and Crimson Queen Sword Show build. 
and um, I'll see you next time I stream or if I miss another video. Bye guys.